see this is the scheduling FIFO queuing. The packets are coming to this particular route. This entire thing, this entire diagram, you can call it as the router hardware circuit it gets. In fact, basically definition of a router, how do you define? It is used for connecting multiple networks. So as a whole, so you can take the entire diagram. So you can observe at the router, why you have to applying the coding part at the algorithm part, you can see here we are just showing a symbol of a rhombus to check the condition if else statements. So you can see when the packets are coming to this router, you are checking the queue of the router. If the queue is completely full, means what is the meaning of completely full? The queue is completely filled with the packets which are coming earlier from the different sources. You have to check that condition because if the queue is completely full, the basic idea is what? It cannot take further packets. Then you can say a word called the router is congested and the packets will be dropped. That's why we are checking this condition. So if it is full, so we can see the discard all these packets mean these packets will be dropped. But if the queue is not full, see the n means what? No. If the queue is not full, then these packets will be entered into this queue. So this decision making of if else statement is something like the coding part of the, the algorithm, the way you are going to implement at the router. Okay. Now you can see this is the FIFA first in first out. Now if the queue is not full, and the packets will be entered into the queue. Okay, and from this, this is called N queuing, and from the queue, whatever you are going to get, that is called D queue. Okay, the packets are taken from the other side, and that will be processed by the router. And this is a departure. Departure means what? See, the purpose of a router is it is either for connecting multiple networks actually on different paths you can forward. So, how to make that which path you have to forward? like the packet will have the, the destination IP. The destination IP will be performed bitwise and with the mask of the interface via that it is going to forward. Yeah, so this is one scheduling algorithm which is called it as the FIFO queuing. And what would be the drawback of this FIFO queuing, FIFO queuing means what? See, if the applications which are coming from the application layer if it is a FTP or some SMTP, if some delay is happening, there won't be any issue. Because you can see when all the packets are moving serially, the main drawback is the ending packets, whatever it is there, for that the waiting time will be more or queuing delay will be more. Starting packets, they can be forwarded fastly, but ending packets, waiting time will be what? More. So when the waiting time is more means what happens? For the ending packets to forward or come to the first one and reaching to the destination, it takes so much of time. Okay, so if it is a SMTP or FTP, if some delay is more is also there, there is no issue. But let us take an example. If it is something like a video conferencing call, okay, the application is a video application. So if the application is video means what the delay should be minimum so that uh, the video signal will go to the other end, the destination can e clearly see the video conferencing call. But now let us think, in that video conferencing call, if you go for this FIFO scheduling algorithm, which is implemented by the router, you can see the ending packets take so much of time. Until and unless the starting packets has been forwarded, the ending packets cannot be forwarded. So it will take so much of time, then you can clearly understand if the waiting time is more and if these video packets are reaching to destination uh, for a longer amount of time, that cannot be a practical. So this gives an idea, This, if the application demands, which is a video application, then the SIFO algorithm, which is implemented by the router is not suitable. So this is the drawback. So remaining all applications like SMTP or FTP, you can go for this FIFO, but not for uh, the video application. So that drawback you have to write. So the whole idea is, so when they ask in the exam, like what is FIFO scheduling, you can write this diagram and you can make all the statements. And finally, you can write the drawback of this FIFO scheduling algorithm as waiting time is less. So this practically is not suitable for what? The video applications because delay is what more.
So this is what uh, so far what I have explained. It is given in the statement wise. You can see it is a queuing method for managing data and the tasks in which the first item added to the queue is the first item to be removed. So the basically it is telling you inside the queue the packets will be entered. The first packets whichever they entered that packets only will be forwarded on the other side you can see. Yeah, so you can see it operates on the principle that the earliest item added should be the first one should be processed or serviced. So what is the meaning of processing there? The packets which are entered into the starting of the queue only that will be serviced by the router. So what is that servicing time or what is the processing time means what? The router once you get the packet, the packet will have the destination IP. The destination IP will be performed bitwise and with the mask of the interface. Then it is going to forward on the particular network ID. So that is called processing time. So it will take some time for the router. Okay. So the whole idea of the second statement is to convey that the router is processing the first packet which is entered firstly in the queue actually. So where exactly practically uh, where it is applied because until and unless knowing and analyzing is a different story but practically where it is applied if we have not learned then there should there is a gap is forming so you, there should be the gap between the theoretical and practical understanding actually I mean there should be a uh, the common logic should be there. Now here you see uh, where exactly it is used. It is given in the third statement like in scheduling tasks, okay, managing network packets just like now whatever I have explained and also coordinating the data processing. So for the data processing like uh, data mining or data <coughs> base processing if the data is a huge set of data is there in such cases you can apply this FIFO. Okay, and what is the drawback uh, we have understand? You can see one drawback of FIFO is that it doesn't prioritize the packets. So this is a very important. It doesn't prioritize the task based on the importance or urgency. If the packets is a, the video packets or something like in the case of TCP, there is one concept like a PSS segments means you are pushing the data fastly because that is an interactive data then FIFO scheduling is not suitable actually. Okay, this means if they have given some explanation statement you can see critical or a time sense to tasks you can see <clears throat> the critical and time sense to task may be delayed if they arrive after the queue has already been formed. So this is one drawback whatever I have already given the explanation it is given in the uh, statements okay now you can see this first statement and third statement is same you can see FIFO queuing may not be suitable for scenarios where certain tasks require immediate attention or where priorities may change dynamically that means if the packets require some priority and if you say that I will apply the FIFO only then you are not giving the priority to that uh, high priority packets actually the waiting time will be more so they will be reaching to the destination long amount of time. So that's why uh, what should be done you have to go for a different queuing strategy which we will call it as the priority queuing okay or round robin uh, scheduling may be appropriate you can see. So basically what is the meaning of it is telling that so if you want to improve the quality of service see basically the routers is only improving the quality of service for actual performance of the network actually. So in the FIFO the waiting time is more so let us go for one more scheduling algorithm called priority queuing. Okay. See as a whole in the exams when they ask different scheduling algorithms you just write what is definition of QoS that means it is going to improve the quality of service. What the different scheduling means what you can say FIFO and priority and weighted fair queuing. But if they ask individually you have to write the entire diagram and the different statements you have to write. So this is regarding what uh, the FIFO scheduling algorithm.